What's poppin' fam? It's your boy Black at you. Back at you. No short video just for you, fam. I had to put this one out. I had to put this one out. It's like um, the universe is speaking, fam. The universe is speaking, right? I made a video about a couple of hours ago. Check the last video I made. This is what it was. It was about um, black men uh, going to foreign lands for respect and loyalty, which meaning that um, they're not getting treated right in America. So they travel and they find other females of other races or treating them better than their own kind treats them and shit there. They said they like it, right, this fam? But I had to put this one out, fam. I had to. This one here. Yeah. Check this shit out, man. I just got the phone about 15 minutes ago. 15 minutes ago. Had a homie, right? We was working also in Afghanistan together, right? We was going to Afghanistan. We was traveling, you know, go things. I remember everybody was called um, Dubai the hub. So it was that vacation time. People be, be in Dubai. And just look at the things and say, what are we going to do? No, what we're gonna do, what we're gonna do. Shit like that's the kind of lifestyle I was living. I'm still doing it, goddammit. Well, anyway, fam, homeboy, you know, he decided, no, he did not decide, put it this way, um, he decided he had to go back home because he said someone, someone was sick. I think his mama was sick. His mother or grandma, I can't even say anything about that, but he was mother. His mother was sick, so he had to go back home, right? Boom. He get back there, and um, what happens to him? No, he, he he calls me up, man. Yo, man, he talks some medical term shit to me. You know, tell me, damn, damn, uncle. Um, he he said I called it a urethia infection. I said, motherfucker. I said, I'm not. My name is not Doctor Welby. What the hell you talking about? Monkeypox or some shit? He's like, nah, some shit called NGU. NGU, right? So I'm like. Oh, and you told me the letter, like NGU, HIV, I'm thinking some goddamn major shit, right? It, it is major, right? But um, it's curable, put it that way. He told us urethia is infected, um, has had a discharge. He went to the bathroom, he's, he's burning, he's, he's, he's fucking, his, his dick is he's, he's, he's hot as a motherfucker, right? This from his, um, his girl back home, right? His so-called girl back home. So he been back home now for a couple of months now. So he met this female. He he told he told about yo, nah, she cool, she look good, yada yada, this and that. And I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll see how far this go because I know the dude, right? Well, anyway, bitch give him NGU and then denies it, said it wasn't her. He said, man, I've been for goddamn four months. You know, what I'm saying four goddamn months. He met about a week after he got home. Had been with nobody, nobody. Now all of a sudden, shit discharged, right? I was like, damn, I said, I said, you all right? He said, he took some, um, they gave him some doxies, a moxie psych, some shit like that. You know what I'm talking about, you motherfucker. You're getting burnt out there. You know what I'm talking about. He, he had to take that shit for a whole week. But now, old boy's cleared up, right? He's cleared up. He's so goddamn pissed off. I'm laughing now. He's like, fuck you laughing, man. It's, I laugh. I said, see, this is what I've been always saying this year. Always been telling that shit there from Jump Street. You know, these motherfuckers back in the crib be nasty, man. I'm telling you. Them sisters girls be burning and shit. Not all of them, but a lot of be fucking burning. It's, it's simple facts. Look at homeboy with this. You know what I'm saying? He talking that shit. I was like, man, out of all the two years we was fucking um, working out, out there, flying here, flying there, messing with girls here, da 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 da. Did you get burnt? Some shit like that. He's like, nah, I was like, see? You know what I'm I told you that shit there, right? I was telling things like that. He's a laugh, right? I was talking about the bidets in the bathroom, the war thing, you, you clean your own, clean your own vagina, and stuff like that there. I was like, man, they ain't got that back in the States. So, if she wake up one time, take a piss or shit, she ain't getting no water on her until she, you know, get a shower and some shit like that. Later on that night, if she take one, I said, she's funky and nasty all day. I said, of course you'll get some kind of infections. There was some yeast infection, all that kind of crazy shit. It's not being taken care of. He's like, oh, you talking shit, talking shit on. That's the goddamn truth. I said, God, the truth. Look at my boy now, huh? Look at my boy now. He told me, he said, um, once shit you don't know, get good, his mama get back good. You no, know, I hope she do get on, um, get back healthy. So he's the first guy that thing smoking. He's getting the fuck back out of this. He said, he's, he's, he's not coming back. He said, fuck that shit. He said, I can't deal with this. <laughs> he said, he can't deal with it. He told me, point, I got so a young brother said, um, he went to Costa Rica, he came back home. He said, he don't even think about sex with these girls now. He's like, he you know, had tasted it, though, the good life down in Costa Rica. And the same my boy, too. You know, he had tasted the good life. We said fucking vanilla, 
um, Thailand, you know what I'm saying? Egypt, you know, go travel shit there. You see these nice ass females out there who are not burning you and <laughs> shit there. So I'm like, that's funny. That's how I had to put that toy. I told to. I said, yeah, check my video out later. It's going to be about your ass. I'm going to put your name out there. But um, see, you left paradise. It's not your fault to left paradise. It was something had to do with mom. So, so give you a pass for that. You know what I'm saying? But we was still, still you got to get back in. You got to come back. Definitely, fam. I think you got to get back because right now, you know, I fucked his head up. I was like, yo, that HIV lies dormant in your body for five. He said between three and five years, lies dormant. You know what I'm saying? Three or five years later, you go take a test, you're fucking HIV, some shit for got that little dirty ass hood rat. You know what I'm saying? I was like, yo, I pray you don't get into that shit there or never catch another, or no one catch that shit there. You know what I'm saying, fam? When I talk days like that, you have sister girls that try to come at you. Oh, this and there. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm not telling no goddamn stories. I'm telling strictly life facts in this shit there. Life facts of this shit there. How many dudes, how many brothers I know, you know, who live over there in the States, you know, in America, who's getting burnt, they tell me stories and all this shit there, right? And now they come over overseas. They're not getting burnt no more. <laughs> no, we're treating them goddamn good. Hey, what do you expect these dudes to do? Go back to the goddamn hood and keep getting burnt up and shit? You know, them, them goddamn... Them rubbers bust, you know what I'm saying? Put up a rubber on, fuck that shit, though. Them shit's bust, too. You got to use them anywhere throughout the world, I say, fam. Under your goddamn discretion. But I tell you like this here. I was never burnt, dog. <laughs> I was never burnt. Any goddamn other country I've been outside the States, never, you know what I'm saying? Never. It made me laugh when he, um, he told you that shit there. Because I was saying, this back in like um, a long time ago, right? I came home from the military just on vacation, right? On vacation. Homegirl I knew for all my my time you know, as, a, as a little kid. And I come up what happened? Sizzle. Sizzle home stuff. I'm like, oh, you sizzle my shit there. Yeah. I like, God damn. You know what I'm saying? It was messed up. I was like, fucking mad. Then I had to go um get sent to school in Texas. Wichita Falls, Texas. A little small town, you know what I'm saying? Wichita Falls, Texas, an air base, Air Force base there. Had to go to school there. What happens? The first sister girl I met, went to the hotel, we chilling out, and then she, I'm scratching like a motherfucker. I'm in class, like, you know, I was used to that heat out there. So I'm thinking, man, I got jock gauge or some shit, you know what I'm saying? Because it was some Texas heat, and I'm, I'm not from no, I'm Texas. So I'm like, scratching the shit. The more I scratched, the better that shit felt. Better it fucking felt. All of a sudden, I was like, nah, something's wrong. I go to the doctor, she told me some goddamn medical name too. I'm like, God damn, a fucking little goddamn fucking ATO my foot. I was like, yo, doc, what the fuck you talking about? He said, oh, it's um, pubic lice. Pubic lice. I was like, lice. I said, only white people catch lice. He said, nah, pubic lice. He said, when you call street crabs. I'm like, well, oh, fuck, man. After that shit, I was like, nah, no, I ain't, nah, fuck that shit. No, no, no. There's only one American female that I can say that um, I like, that I liked. Really, that I really liked, you know what I'm saying? That's my uh, little nickname, Vanilla. You know what I'm saying? That's the only one I can say, yeah, that, that was cool. The rest, I don't care. I know I can't really deal with my folks. I don't really don't want to, you know what I'm saying, right now. You always say, oh, he, he was like white girls and shit like that. Nah, my woman be African, motherfucker. Hear that bullshit. Pure Africans. <laughs> the ones I got there, you know what I'm saying? I don't hear that bullshit. I'm trying to like, oh, they're sellout. They're doing this. I hear that bullshit. Right? Like I said, my shit pure African, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to treat you goddamn good, you know what I'm saying? Treat you good, cook for you, worry about you, you know, take care of you, you know what I'm saying? Do good things for you. Don't burn you, you know what I'm saying? Shit clean, you know what I'm saying? Clean. I just put this little bee out there because, um, like I said, if y'all met earlier, I didn't, I didn't even delete some comments. I'm going to come talk some shit, females. And some dudes so oh, you're just sellouts. I was like, nah, we ain't no goddamn sellouts. You pump for you, bum ass. You ain't got a passport. You never been out of goddamn America. You know nothing. You never been off your block. But you want to try to come on my videos and talk some smack. i like, just the fuck out of here. You do, I said, yeah, y'all got to come up. No, get your weight up. Get your passport, you know. Save up about $1,500, whatever, and take your flight somewhere. But you can't do that, though, huh? You have to smoke your blunts every day and drink your 40s, some shit. You can stay your ass over there inside Babylon all you want and mess them hood rats. And don't get that good treatment. They can't cook any goddamn way. Like I said, big mamas, like, you know, like grandmas and them, you know, there's a cook. Nowadays, the little hood rats don't know how to goddamn cook. Look at the little kids running around nowadays, the ski jeans. They all working with ski jeans. They all got their thin. Walking the day and cooking shit in the goddamn house. You know what I'm saying? You go to goddamn foreign lands, we were cooking three times a goddamn day, like, wow. 
You know what I'm saying? Taking care of you. Taking care of you. And then I put, put that out there, this is what good will come, come back like, well, this and that. What, what's the fuck with the excuse? We, I'm just talking about, I ain't saying, as far as like putting y'all down, these African American folks, it's not, not putting you down, we got a lot of sisters out there doing their thing, you know what I'm saying? Who are married to brothers and stuff like that. I'm talking to the ones who don't do that. So sisters don't come, don't get upset, you know, but if the shoe fits, fucking wear it, you know what I'm saying? If you can't take care of your goddamn man, you know what I'm saying? Cater towards them, you know, and don't give them no goddamn shit called NGU to have his goddamn dick fucking pussing and shit there. Then, hey, you know, what the fuck can I say? What can I say? But like I say, I had to put this shit out there, you know, for the homie out there. What up, homie? <laughs> I told you to put this shit out for you and let the world know, you know what I'm saying? That you must not settle for less, you brothers out there. You must not settle for your little bum, bum dirty hood rats. You know what I'm saying? That's scorching you and shit, not showing you no love and affection, you know what I'm saying? You don't need that shit. Go foreign, and I'm out here. Peace.